This video is sponsored by FlashForge. Air delivery. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm pretty stoked because I received a package from FlashForge. As you may know, I'm using the FlashForge Finder to make all my 3D models and tanks. And a while ago, FlashForge got in touch with me and asked if they could send me the new Finder 3. And the Finder 3 is similar to the old Finder, but much more upgraded and more advanced. So I'm going to do a review of this. But first, let's do an unpacking, and without further ado, let's open this. First of all, we have a note giving some information about the power units. And then we have the user guide. And after that, the build plate. And it's covered in bubble wrap. I think it is um, a glass plate covered with different types of, um, of surfaces. Oh, and this is nice. It's a thick emballage made of paper. And here is the printer. Wow, uh, power cord, it looks like the right type of European socket. As you already can see, the design is very similar to the finder, the original finder. And there's a protective paper emballage and a few more, few more tapes to secure the step motor. Going to have a look inside. Yeah, so this is firmly secured, very well secured. And it has those caution labels on it. Oh, this is nice. Uh, this is the tools and spare plastic tubes for the hot end. And that's very nice. And it, I can see some screwdrivers, some allen keys. Yeah, that goes out the front. Ah, this is the glass plate. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty thick. Yeah, this is a very uh, firmly secured package. You can just maybe ease that out. Yeah. I'm getting something. Oh, and here, yep, transparent uh, filament, transparent red. Just a small, um, small amount to for testing. And this looks like a spool holder. Let's see here. There we are. Look at that. Right. Well, as you can see, it has some similarities to the old uh, FlashForge Finder. This, this this kind of cute uh, cubic cubic design. I really like it. On the back here, let's let's show you. We have the tube where the filament comes, and we have a nice and well as isolated cable harness here to the extruder and the, the step motor. I can only see two leveling screws. Hmm, that's interesting. So there's a difference right there. It, the uh, finder has three leveling screws because three points always make a flat surface. Uh, this one only has two. I have to consult the, uh, the manual. Oh, 
Oh, and you actually get a USB stick included. And uh, just so you know, there's a um, step-by-step instruction of how to unpack this. Uh, and from what I can see, it's uh, just what it looked like on, on camera. And here's a list of what the kit contains. A nozzle, the USB flash stick, a remove tool, and wrenches and screwdrivers. Needle, this is a good tool for uh, clearing out clogged nozzles. Some grease, hmm, that's interesting. Flexible spring sheet, yeah, that's the, uh, the, that's the one right here. And some glue, awesome. The older flash forge, uh, the finder that I have been using, has a cassette that holds the flash forge filament. I've been using a lot of different types of filament, not least the ESAM PLA Plus, so I have been using a separate tripod for that filament spool. And I can see that they have changed the design on that point. They instead included this material holder that should go right in there. Uh, so this is actually really nice because then you can use any third part filament brand or um, any type of spool. So that's, that's awesome. They have slimmed the design a bit. The size of the printer is it's actually smaller than the old finder, but still the uh, build area has increased. So they have managed to get the size down a bit, but increase the build volume. So this is going to be very interesting to, to test. And uh, just as on the old finder, we have the on-off switch on the back, as well as the inlet for the power cord. Now I'm cutting the zip ties, holding the, the extruder. There we go. And on the other side. Some heavy duty zip ties. I don't want to damage my new printer. There we are. Alright. And I will very carefully remove the zip ties holding the uh, caution labels because they are very tight towards the, uh, the belt that drives the extruder. I hope you can see here what I mean. This is a tricky one. Right, so there's three of those, mind you, that you need to remove before you can, uh, before the uh, extruder head can can move. And let's take the, the zip tie on the build plate as well. And there we are. And there's some plastic here, which I will remove. I think I got the protection cover for the, the build plate as well. There's that. And uh, the screen protection. All right. Yeah, so I realized I was about to make a review right here and now, and I think we'll save that. So we'll pause here, and I'll get back to you with a real review. When I have tested this and compared it to my current uh, FlashForge Finder. So with that said, Thank you very much for watching, thank you FlashForge for sending me this, please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.